Queen made fans excited as she shared her stunning photos of the garden of her official residence in London to welcome the new spring. On Saturday, Her Majesty shared photos of the Buckingham Palace garden on the royal family's official Twitter page to mark the first day of spring this year. One of the photos shows the sunrise over a lake in the palace gardens. The post caption read, Sunrise over the lake in the Buckingham Palace garden. Today marks the first official day of spring as we all look towards brighter days ahead. The garden at the Queen's London residence sees much change over the course of a year. Despite its urban location, the garden is home to a remarkable array of flora and fauna. Describing the pretty flowers in the photo, the caption added, A tatsia daffodil boasts 11 flowers on a single stem. Pheasant's eye daffodils stand tall in the garden meadows. A curved path leads to the rose garden. The images will feature in Buckingham Palace, a royal garden, due to be published at Royal Collection Trust in April. The palace shared a further three pictures with more signs of spring. One of the images shows a tatsita daffodil which has 11 flowers on a single stem. Another is a pheasant's eye daffodils in the garden meadows. A final photo is of a curved path leading to the rose garden. The photos by photographer John Campbell feature in Buckingham Palace, a royal garden, to be published by the Royal Collection, the largest private art collection in the world of Queen Elizabeth, next month. The post prompted a delighted reaction from royal fans. Commenting on Twitter, one said, Wow! Beautiful, peaceful nature. Smiley face, flowers and a rainbow. Another simply wrote, Keep the pics coming. Love flowers and a picture of a flower. A third said on Twitter, lovely flowers, a flower picture. They remind me of the flowers that surround my childhood home in Greenwood, Mississippi at 504 Popular Street. Daffodils were pretty much the only flowers we had in our yard. Oh, the memories. Another added, so lovely and so wonderful that all can walk the gardens. I love gardening. Thank you. The Queen, who turns 95 next month, has spent much of the last year at Windsor Castle due to the pandemic with her husband, Prince Philip, who turns 100 in June, and a reduced household staff, dubbed HMS Bubble. The monarch traditionally hosts three garden parties at Buckingham Palace, her official residence, every summer. And from July to October, The palace is open to the public. The stunning photo shared at Buckingham Palace confirmed Friday that this year's Her Majesty's traditional birthday parade, also known as Trooping of the Colour, has been cancelled. The palace's statement said, Following consultation with government and other relevant parties, it has been agreed that the Queen's official birthday parade, also known as Trooping of the Colour, will not go ahead this year in its traditional form in central London. Options for an alternative parade in the quadrangle at Windsor Castle are being considered. The annual garter service, usually held in June, will not take place this year.